Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video we discussed part 1 of the lead life cycle, today we will see part 2 of it. If you didn't watch that video, please check it out, link in the description. Today, we will discuss the price list, product, quote, order, and invoice in Dynamics 365. Let's get started. First, all of you need to navigate to make.powerapps.com. Here you need to select the sale hub, then select opportunities. As you can see here, the opportunity that we created in our last video. Here, as you can see, there are some tabs, like product, quote, field service, and files. So, let's start by creating a price list. To do so, go to the app settings area and select price list. In the product catalog, you'll see the product, product family, and price list. Click on the price list. First, we need to know what a price list is. The price list is the container for all price list items. Opportunity and the QOI records have a look up to this entity to set the stage for what products may be added. There are different price lists for customers, like retail, wholesale, distributor, and referral customers. Click on the new button and fill in the required details. A price list could be of three types, cost, purchase, and sale. Click on the Save button and the cost price list has been created. Here are lots of tabs. In this video, we only see the introduction parts of all the entities. And in the next video, we will see the process of using these entities together. Now to create a product, navigate back to the sale area and click on the product. Then add the product button. A product could be goods or services that an organization or person wants to sell to customers. Fill in the required details here. And now it is asking for the unit group. So basically, unit groups and units are basic entities in Microsoft Dynamics 365. A unit is a single unit of measure, and multiple units can be grouped into unit groups. Select the default unit and click Save. Now the product has been created, making it inactive. Click on the Publish button. The next entity is a quote. A quote is a document for prospective customers with a product or service, quantity, and pricing or payment terms. You can quote from an opportunity, and you can manually navigate to the quote entity. A quote contains the payment term, billing address, and required data for a product. It's a business proposal. The next entity is order. In Dynamics 365, order is a confirmation from the customer on purchasing your product services it could be created from quotes and manually created for existing customers click on the order entity and create an order it's a confirmation from the customer side the last important entity is the invoice an invoice is a document to bill the customer for your product or services it is sent to the customer after the order has been fulfilled in other words it allows you to bill customers employees and external service providers. Click on the invoice entity and fill in the data. It contains the shipping address and payment method of an order. So today we see the introduction of all entities. In the next video, we will discuss the processes of all entities and the whole life cycle of lead. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.